just a really short video probably. Um, so in my last video I did the uh, quick little gimbal for uh, for my Sima or Sima, however you pronounce it, I guess. <laughs> Uh, X5 SC. Um, <clears throat> still waiting on my parts in the mail. Uh, I don't even remember where they're coming from exactly. I think it was, uh, let's see, SemaToyStore.com, but uh, I'm really not sure uh, what country that's in. Could be China. I don't know. Could be US, but either way. Um, again, still hopefully any day now so I can. Uh, get it back in the air and actually test out the gimbal, but, um, watching some more videos and looking at stuff and, uh, digging through my little parts drawers and stuff, and I found my little clip-on, uh, lenses for cell phones, um, uh, and, change hands here because I'm holding the phone right now, um, I got these for, like, five bucks at Walmart, and this is the fisheye, this one here, um, which you can see, ooh, fisheye, um, but I thought about it, and I said, hmm, why not try that on the quadcopter's camera, and so, um, what I did is, uh, stuck it on there, um, so, I'll go ahead and uh, flip the camera here, and uh, we'll give a quick little overview of uh, what all I've done, what the other stuff I've done to it. Um, I mean, not a whole lot, but a few supporting upgrades, I guess you could call them, to the, the gimbal. So, uh, here we go, check it out. Okay, so, there's the quadcopter, um, and what we have here are the trimmings of the zip ties that I used for the gimbal and I use those to extend the legs and as you can see they're kind of springy which is kind of nice so it gives a little bit of shock absorption uh, if you come down a little bit hard uh, next I extended the wires that go into the camera for the power in the video and I found some softer wire. It's probably a little bit stiffer than I'd really want still, but it actually works fairly well uh, from an old USB cable uh, that I had previously cut apart. Um, and uh, now they're long enough so that the, uh, they actually reach and the gimbal still moves. Um, added a couple washers um, to the bottom. I need to put a new piece of sticky tape because I had to adjust them after I added the lens um, <coughs> and rebalance it. And you can see it points down just ever so slightly, which is actually probably better because it'll help keep the uh, props out of the picture some. At least that's what I'm hoping for. So. Um, this little camera. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Focus. To focus if I get my hand behind it. Probably the lighting. But anyway, it is a little wide angle zoom lens, or not zoom, but wide angle lens. Um, yeah, it doesn't want to focus, but it is a. Uh, Let's see if I can read it here. 0.67x, so it's actually zoomed out a little bit. Um, same thing, um, little clip-on lens there. You can see the, I have the normal lens in there. Um, and I wanted it to be removable, so what I did is I took a... Oh, I dropped it. I took a cap from like a little squirt bottle, a little spray bottle dealy, and just cut the end off, and took a drill bit and drilled out the hole, and then uh, took a razor knife, oh, made it just big enough for the little bezel around the, uh, 
camera lens to fit in there, and it fits in actually pretty snug, which is good. Uh, it may come off in a, you know, in a crash or an impact or something like that, but not not the end of the world. Uh, like I said, this little lens kit was five bucks. It was at Walmart. <clears throat> um, I don't remember the brand. I don't have the box or anything anymore. Um, you can actually unscrew this little wide angle, and there's a macro lens under there. Probably not any good for, you know, taking pictures with the drone, I guess, unless you're trying to get really close to something. Um, but, um, has a little lens cap, which is nice also, so, uh, you can keep the dust and the fingerprints off as much as you can that way. Um, but, you know, it works. It's on there pretty snug. Um, I do think I'm going to have to re-glue one of the little zip ties on the side of the quadcopter. Um, I think it's uh, kind of coming off a little bit. Um, hopefully you saw that because I was looking at what I was pointing at and not the camera. So, you know, little, little zip tie glues things there. Um, but that's the quadcopter as of now. Um, it works, which is nice. It has a little bit wider field of view than the stock camera now, which is a little nicer. And uh, hopefully we actually get to test it out soon. Nice short video. Um, since I picked it up off the floor, here's a little cap I was talking about. I just cut the end off and poked a hole, made it a little bigger so it fit around the camera bezel. Uh, and then squish the little camera lens into it um, works pretty slick so I can take it off if I need to or want to and uh, that's pretty much it so there's the drone got my fancy paint pen so I got the BDP on there now um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so hopefully that helps out somebody uh, Maybe gives you guys some ideas of things to do yourself, and uh, hope you like it. Play safe. Don't drive. Don't drink and drive.